Hello everyone! Are you ready to start working on Harry with the pencils? For him, we are going to be using Derwent Pro Color Ivory Black, Primary Red for his scarf, and Gunmetal, but we'll be using that around the background here. Uh, we might bring in some white, and we might bring in, since this set did not have a black black, we may be bringing in a Prismacolor Black. So let's get started filling him in. Okay, we're going to start down here. These little, well, I've got a sharp tip. Or put him on his side to get at these a little better. But I'm just starting to fill these in. Just starting to fill in the areas with the pencil. I'm hoping the different color markers underneath will give it different colors. See, like this is darker because it's mostly pencil. And this is kind of a different shade because it's got the marker underneath. Go in here really precisely. Well, get this up in here too. These little guys right here. Okay, and I think these were covered up by the circle and I have a plan for that. I'm just drawing in some of these hairs. Finish this bottom edge here. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Prismacolor Black and make darker areas around here for shadowing. The Derwent Blender. I'm going to go over it again with a little bit more of the Derwent Ivory Black. This is the Prismacolor Black, getting some details, some more shading. This is the Derwent Ivory Black, and I'm going to blend all this together. I'm just going to work my way up since we're down here. This here, so I don't put my hands in there. And this is the Primary Red from Derwent, filling in these white spaces, and I'm just going to fill these areas in. See, it's going to be a little lighter, which will be a good contrast to the dark marker. But I am going over the marker with the pencil too, just to fill any gaps in. Now I'm not going circle by circle on the scarf. I'm just filling in the area. Trying to fill in all the white area. Careful not to get any on him. Red's going to be hard. Just keep adding color. Okay, I'm going to take the blender pencil and go ahead and Blend this together and probably go over it again with some more red and then add some shadows. Back over with the red. I am going to go in with the gunmetal and add some shadows. I don't know if this gunmetal is going to be dark enough. We may have to use black. Yeah, it's not really that dark. Actually, let's try the dark white ivory black. It's not so dark. That's going to be a little better. And then we blend it out. Take our blender and kind of blend this out. And I want to take some red and pull this together. Mm, looks like we got a little bit of the black in here. And what you do is you take your combo mono race and just it up. Okay, now I'm going to take the Prismacolor Black and just kind of add some defining lines here. Make it look like fringe. Add some more red. Just keep adding as much as you can. Now I'm going to do the tassel. For this one, I'm going to do the Derwent Ivory Black. I don't want to add dark. I figured, because that would be shadows of his fur. This is a gray background, so I don't want it as dark. And I'm just going to make little tassel marks. Try to follow the existing lines. Pencil's probably going to want to do what it wants to do. Do your best. Back in with the red and blend all this together. And get any white spots you missed. The rawhide. We are going to need for umber. Ooh, that's kind of dark. Maybe we'll go in with the brown ochre and then shadow with the burnt umbers. So this is the brown ochre. Then I'm going to go in with the burnt umber. Yeah, that's better than just like okay. burnt umber. It's more of this brown ochre. There we go. Next is finishing up his neck with the ivory black. Don't worry about those whiskers. Well, let's just go in and define them. Now we just need to fill in all this. I am going to go in with the personal color black and get some shadowing down in here. The dirt blender, another layer of love, ivory black, personal color black for shadows. Okay, while you're here, I've been noticing down here, I just add a little bit of the ivory black, add a touch of Prismacolor Black, and blend that together. Prismacolor Black. I wonder if I add a little bit of white, just a touch. I'm going to go through here with some of the white and just add definition to his fur. Yeah, he's getting nice and dark now. Back in with the ivory black a little bit in here. Blend in the shadows. 
me do his beard. I should say, let's do his goatee. I want to go in with the white. Let's see if we go in with some gray. We'll blend all these little pieces together when we get up in there. Put a little bit more black in here. A little bit more white. I'm liking that. I need to take the ivory black. This doesn't look like it's blended out too well right here. Oh, the hair is going to take us forever. Okay, let me move you down, and then let's get his, it's right here, just a light coating. We're not going to go as dark as we did. This is ivory black. I have to, if it gets too dark, we can always go in with white. But I'm going to go ahead and see how that blends together with the blender. Don't worry about his nose and his mouth. We're going to go over that with the black. Back with your ivory black. I like how this is all coming out. It's almost looking suede on the paper. This is pretty cool. Let's try the gunmetal. Not as dark. Let's see what happens when we add the white. I think I see some white here. I'm just not adding some shadows here. Blend it out. Now we've got kind of like a little texture going on here. See if we can even that out a little bit with the gunmetal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the Christmas colored black for shadows and then I'll blend it in with the gunmetal. There, let me get the gunmetal and kind of see if we can blend this all together. Once again, this is the gunmetal. I didn't want to go in there with too much of that ivory black. So we got shadows in there now. It's time to add some highlights and add some white. There we go. Hope he looks good to you. He looks good to me. Now his face, we're going to go back in with the ivory black. Just start filling her in. God, his face got really purple. Hopefully that'll blend in. I mean, his body blended in pretty good. His face just seems extra purple. We're going to add as many layers as we can to this. Here, I accidentally went over it. Yeah. I think that's a piece there too. Just gotta be careful with that. I just get going and plow right over things. But if you miss it, then no big deal. Nobody's gonna know. Got sideburns and everything. I'm gonna take the prism color black and go around here, shadow this out. Now blender. Blend all this together. I want this a little darker. Ivory black. Start blending stuff out. And we're gonna start defining these here. And these here. And with the white now, some white in here. Oh my goodness, he's getting there. Nice and handsome. Blend this out a little bit with the blender. Back in with the white here. Is he looking pretty groovy? He's feeling pretty groovy. Let's do his ears. Get that over with. And then we'll spend the rest of the time on his hair. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go in here with the ivory black. I'm going in with the prismal color inside of his ear. Make that pretty dark. We're going to have to do some guesstimating on where his ear is and where the hair is. We had a white blob here. We got to fill in. Fill this in with the ivory black. I'll take the blender and on this out a little bit. Back in with Christmas color black to kind of a little more. Kind of going back in with some more of this ivory black. Just a touch of this black. Make shadows. And with some white. One last blend. His ears look nice and fuzzy. I just keep making his ears bigger and bigger and fuzzier and fuzzier. <laughs> One more pass with the white. Another thing I forgot to do was take the prism color black and fill these areas and darken them back up. I got a little bit right in there. I was going to lightly pull that out and blend it in. I'm going to pull you out just a little bit because we're going to do the background. I'm going to take the metal. Or filling in the background like we did him. Not uh, being precise here. Just adding color and then we'll blend it. See these dots are covering up pretty good. 
Let's see if I got enough color in there to blend that out. I'm gonna go in here a little bit more. So you got the texture from the markers, the texture from the oxide, the texture from the pencil. Here is gonna take forever before I get too far on that side for blend this all. Let's start in over here. I'm gonna go in here with the blender. One more layer right here. Well, you can barely see those circles anymore. Blender. Blend all this down. Another layer of fade. Blend all this together. I'm going to flip you on your head. I'm going to do the background up in here now. Let's blend that out. Let's add another layer. Let's blend all this together. For his hair, we're going to kind of do what we did here, kind of two-tone. We'll do it lighter around his face and his ears, and then get darker. We're going to go in with the ivory black. Go light. Okay, one pass done. Let's go and do the second pass. Make it just a little darker and fill in areas that we missed. Getting there. His, <laughs> his hair is going to be something else. Okay, I'm gonna slip you over and then we're gonna start giving him his highlights and low lights and some cool hair when he's done, I hope. Okay, let's go with the black first. Just find areas to, cause we'll blend all this together. Let's blend all this together. I'm going with the Prismacolor black. Darken some areas up. It's all on the lines from the drawing. Back over with the ivory black to kind of blend stuff together. Now for the white, lightening up areas. One more pass with the prism color black, really sharp. And we're just gonna define his hair a little bit. See, it looks kind of light there. Go back in with the ivory black. Just gonna make it shady. And he is done. Let me zoom out and we'll look at it. Yeah, he looks pretty good with that wild hair. Well, thank you for joining me again today. The next video will be working on George. We will see you soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell so you know when the next video comes up. So we'll see you then. And until then, hang in there and have some fun.